Hey, 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 hello. It is day two of our 88 days to manifest your best life or to reprogram your subconscious mind or manifest your best life in 88 days. Whatever you want to do it, we're on day two of 88 days. And so today we're going to talk about limiting beliefs. I set the groundwork on the day one video for how we're going to visualize and then how we're going to begin to do affirmations, right, for our a manifestation. So today I want to talk about limiting beliefs because I'm pretty sure if you started to do this visualization at all in the least little bit, probably what's popped up for you is a little bit of, yeah, well, I'm not really sure that I can actually accomplish this. Is this comes some like a really an option or is this like a complete fantasy, Lisa? And there's no way on God's green earth in this lifetime or the next that I'm going to achieve this fantasy. This this dream. So those are called limiting beliefs. So what I'm going to do first is let's talk about what a limiting belief was. We'll just take both of these words apart, this phrase apart and really look at it, right? Limiting. So the act of limiting um, says I can only go this far. I can only do this much. I can only go this far with this concept. I can't go beyond that. Now, why would you limit yourself? Well, you know, there's speed limits to say that you can only go so fast on a highway or on a street. Otherwise, what? It's unsafe, right? So if you travel at speeds over the speed limit, whoever has deemed it to that it'll be unsafe for yourself and everybody else on the road. So the limiting or the limitations that we are placing on ourselves then and come from the subconscious mind. They come from experiences we've had, experiences we've been told about, things that we've seen on the news or things we've seen on television or in the movies, things we've seen and heard out in the world, things our parents, our grandparents, other people, friends, whatever have told us. And then all these different limitations get put in place because they get implanted in our brain. And then the brain, the mind says, okay, I'm going to take all of these things and I'm going to say, don't do this because you could get hurt. So the limiting beliefs or the limitations we're placing on ourselves really in all actuality are there in our own way to safeguard, to keep us safe. That's the real reason they're there. So we have limiting. So there's limitations we put ourselves and beliefs. Well, what is a belief? A belief is what we have faith in. A belief is this untouchable, intangible energy that somewhere deep down inside, we decided that this is truth. So this is a belief that we hold dear to our hearts. Beliefs should be something that elevates us. Beliefs should give us hope. And by and large, a lot of our beliefs do, but there are a ton of them that limit our ability to then imagine and to visualize and then to create or recreate our world. So a limiting belief is a belief that we hold in order to keep us safe because for some reason, somehow, some way, we've been told that Mm -mm, not going to fly. And if you go that far, if you believe that you can have a life of ease, a life of joy, a life of purpose. If you believe that you can prosper whilst working in your purpose, if you believe that you can give permission to your purpose to provide for your person, if you believe that you can be an entrepreneur, a very highly successful entrepreneur with a six or seven figure business, if you believe that you can truly acquire and attain that promotion in that, that job or at another company or a level in your career, if you believe you can run for office and, and be elected to a an elected position, if whatever the case it, it is, if you believe that and then you seek to and work towards achieving that, that you put all of your energy towards that and it doesn't work, your brain, your limiting beliefs are put in place for you so that you don't hurt yourself, so that you don't get hurt. So that instead of going for everything, instead of going shooting for the stars and landing on the moon, you just stay in your little space because it's safe here and because maybe nobody else in your neighborhood or nobody else in your family or no one else in your friend group are entrepreneurs. Maybe nobody went to college. Maybe 
everybody went to college, but nobody's working for themselves, right? Or maybe all you've seen are unsuccessful relationships in your family, because this is what everyone's told you. So why even begin to try? Because if you try and you fail, you're just going to be disappointed and no one likes to be disappointed. So why am I talking to you about this on day 20, uh, day two, not 22? Day two. I don't want us to get started with this whole thing and you're going to carry these limiting beliefs all the way through the next 86 days. It ain't going to work. So what I want you to do is remember all that visualization I told you about yesterday. Remember I said, I want you to thank the universe, right? I want you to thank the universe. Remember that? Or God or Allah or source, whatever. Muhammad, Buddha, whatever the higher being, whatever the, the creator, the supreme creative being that it is that you believe in and that you resonate with, that the energy of that being resonates with you and you resonate with it, then that's who I want you to thank. Okay. You could do that all day, every day, twice on Sunday, but until you truly believe that you can achieve that, until you truly believe that that is who you are, which is where we're moving towards, it's all for nothing. Okay. So what I want you to do today, you know, all that stuff we talked about yesterday, I want you to go back and I want you to look at it. And then every time you feel that little twinge, I want you to start writing down what limiting belief it is. Okay. I don't believe I can do that. Okay. Why? Okay. I don't believe I can have a million dollars in my bank account. Why? Well, I'm, I don't have a million dollar idea or nobody in my family is a millionaire, or it would take me 10 years in order to get a million dollars in my bank account. So what are the limiting beliefs and why? And I can guarantee you, as we dig down deep, you're going to get to a point where you're like, if you're going to be honest with yourself, that you don't feel you deserve it. That's the real limiting belief, but I'm going to let you arrive at that on your own. So I want you to write all that stuff down. I want you to give me some comments. Please don't forget to like, please don't forget to do the follow or the subscribe or, you know, and also share this with your friends. Okay. I don't ask for a whole lot. But let's do this on the social medias of it all. Like, subscribe, follow, share, whatever with your friends. Because it's easier to manifest when you got a bunch of people manifesting with you. But I want you to write them all down. I want you to comment what your limiting beliefs are. And then tomorrow, we're going to start dismantling those one by one. Remember, give permission. Give permission to your purpose to provide for your person. Until next time. See you soon.